News at 11. Good evening, I'm Tim Callahan. And I'm Jackie Park. Teachers packed another Delano Union School District meeting tonight as educators prepare for more change. Last month, district leaders voted to appoint someone to fill the vacancy on its board instead of holding a special election to save money. 23 ABC's Carlos Correa is live in Delano tonight with some of the issues the empty seat is causing. Carlos? Well, tonight, school leaders were supposed to vote on the future of their site resource teachers, but that didn't happen, and some argue it's because of the lack of miscommunication that continues to happen here. For months, the lack of communication within the Delano Union School District has troubled so many teachers. To me, something is wrong, again, with communication, because you're saying they didn't come to me. And this time, the frustration is being felt among district leaders. I think to work as a team, you have to meet each other. The board is still trying to figure out what to do with all 12 of their site resource teachers. Last December, they decided to eliminate those jobs and create new positions. They have not come to a decision. They were going to revise their job responsibilities and make them reapply for their job. Um, the talk now is that maybe they can keep their job and then try it out for a year and then be evaluated. Delano is the only district in Kern County to have site resource teachers. Parents and other educators say they are valued in the classroom. Our district team can't afford to lose any more superstars. On behalf of the children in this community, I'd like to remind new leaders to do their jobs. If all team members do their jobs, we all win. McFarland, Arvin, and Norris school districts have what they call teachers on special assignment. Delano leaders will review those job descriptions before finalizing plans for their new positions. Westa feels uh, obliged to remind you that working conditions are a mandatory subject to bargaining. Our calendar is open and we are available to negotiate immediately. Now, the agenda item to talk about the future of those resource teachers was tabled for another time. The district says it's accepting applications to fill the vacancy on its board. The hope is to vote in a new candidate by next month's meeting. Back to you.